Hey, what's up, SaaS Master? My name's George, and today I want to show you a really cool app that's going to let you organize all your media assets in one single place. So that means a specific file manager just for all your media assets with all the bells and whistles. Now, if you're the type of person that just likes to save money and not invest, then you can skip this and do it in the traditional way where you make a bunch of folders and search around for all your media assets. But if you're the type of person that says time is money and you want to save time, well, this one is the deal for you. Plus, it's really cheap. So let's jump over to my dashboard and show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is the Eagle app, and basically it only costs $30 right now. So that's a price that's as of this video, it could go up later on. But basically, it's really, really cool, and it's really interesting how you save a lot of time with this app. So let me show you. I already have it installed on my Mac. It's available for Windows also. And basically, like I said before, it's a file manager just for all your media assets. Plus, you got tags, you got annotations, you got separated folders, you got smart algorithms for, for example, if so, if then, so if this, then that. So that means you can have conditional logic with the folders. So I'm going to show you all of that right now. So um, these are some assets that I put in here. And basically, these are SVGs. It reads a bunch of type of files. Let me show you that before I, I even get started because you might be interesting. So if you're using Mac OS, it's going to recognize all these type of files. So basically, all the most important files will be recognized. And in Windows, you got all of these also available. All right. So I got some SVGs right here. And when I click on one of them, we have some information on the right. Now, one of the coolest features that I find interesting is that it auto generates a tag, you could say, for the colors. So if I'm looking for something with a color beige or it's like dark blue, then it's going to show me all the media assets based on that. Let me show you how that works. That's the best part of all the, the filters. So I got some filters right here and we can do it by color. So for example, if I'm searching for green, for example, I'm going to see files that are green. So anything that has green inside of it, I'm going to view it at really, really quick. You also have, let me get rid of this. You got also by tags. So for example, I created some tags already. And if I want to see logos, I can view logos right there. And if I want to search for a folder with logos, I can view it there. Let me go all the way to back. And if I click on one of these media assets, I can add tags right here. So for example, in this case, I've added two tags. So one is I know they come from ITG and two, I know it's an SVG. Later on, I will go in more into depth and add more tags to it so I can have more uh, ways to search for them. You can also search in folders, search for shapes, for example, horizontal, vertical, panoramic, hor horizontal by rating. So I can rate each image if I want. So later on, I can view it by rate. The type, um, in this case, PNG, SVG, that's the ones I have. Date imported, dimensions. So I can set a dimension if I'm looking for images uh, bigger than such or such dimensions. If they have annotations or not, or are they based on Earl? So there's a lot of things you can add to each individual image so you can have a really good way to organize it. Plus, if we open these images, I can add annotations to it. So for example, we got this little pencil right here and I'll click on it and I guess I could say right there, right? So these are words and that's it. All right, I have an annotation. Let me go back. I have a little number one right there because I have one annotation in there. So if later on I need to see that annotation, I can view it. Or I can add some notes right here if I want also. I can add a link, categories. I can view the comments that are added right there, the properties, the rating if I want to rate it, the dimensions, the type, size, the file type. And all you got to do is just drag inside. Let me grab these files right here. Let me drag in some new files, put them there and wait for them to load. And here they are. So basically, they're all selected for now. And since I know these are logos, the first thing I'm going to do is tag them as a logo, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And yeah, that should be it for now. All right. So I know that these media assets that I added right now have logos and each one that I dragged in, for example, it grabbed the colors. Remember I told you it'll auto like tag it with the colors. So later on, I can find them. It's pretty cool that it does that automatically. Now, there's an auto tag function also, so you don't have to manually tag everything. So, for example, in this folder that I know that are logos, I can double click right here and I can set the auto tag. So, for example, I have set auto tag to say logo. I can add more if I want. But what does that do? If I drag the media assets inside of here, it's going to automatically tag it. So I don't have to do it manually every single time. So it's pretty cool. You can create all of these folders and you can auto tag them really fast and really quickly. 
Now in this, this um, ones that I dragged, you can see I have some PSD files, so I can even view them, even if I don't have Photoshop, for example. I JPEG, PNG, uh, what other, what, how, okay, so just PSD and JPEG, oh, also AI, I got it available right there. So all those were added inside, and they were recognized by Eagle, so it's pretty cool that we have that. Now there's another function that's really, really awesome, which is creating folders with smart tags. So for example, I'll click on this little plus button, and I have the ability, the option to add a normal folder or a smart folder. Smart folder gives you conditional logic to add. For example, I'll just say, I don't know, blue. All right, and I can set conditional logic to any of these right here. So I could say, if the width is such, then it should be added to here automatically. Um, if it has a height, a file size, a shape, a rating, so I could say, you know what, everything that's rated over five stars, then it's gonna be inside of this folder automatically. In this case, I'll say, for example, color, it even does that, it's, it's pretty cool. And I could say similar or almost the same, so it just depends what you wanna set. Set the color that you wanna use, in this case, blue is fine. I'll set create, and I'm viewing files that have blue inside of them. Now I can add different type of blue, so it's, I don't have to keep it that way. For example, edit rules. I can add another rule right here, and it could be, for example, again, it could be a color or something else. For example, in this case, um, I can set another shade of blue, just as an example. You can see it grabbed another one. So I'll say save changes, and now it grabbed a different shade of blue. And you can add different blues right there with different conditional logics and say, you know what, if the file's PNG, if it's SVG, just add it there. Now you're kind of getting the idea of all the things you can do right here. Just like I said, it's a super cool file manager for media assets. Now this can also be integrated with your cloud storage, Dropbox, pCloud, um, G Drive, and you can set libraries right here. For example, if I wanted to switch a library later on, I can add a library from a different place. Now if I had something installed right here, I don't use my cloud drives integrated here, but I can set it there and grab the images from there. They don't have to be actually in my file manager or on my computer. So you have all those options available. Now what else do we have? Before we jump into the extension for the browser, let me think what else we have. We have un uncategorized, untagged, random, all tags. Um, what I trashed later on, um, there, it gives you the option to do a, a screenshot with this. So for example, command option E gives me this little arrow right here that lets me do a screenshot. Let me do it there, for example, and it'll just go inside, inside, inside of here. So, and the other way I would do it is I would do a screenshot on my Mac and it'll go to my desktop and it'll be like the traditional screenshots. In this case, it'll go inside of here. Let me delete that. That's one of the ways you could do. A One of the cool parts about this one is the Chrome extension that comes with it. Let's just say I'm in this site and I wanna grab some images from here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Chrome extension. It's available for other browsers also. And I can say batch save, capture area, capture visible page. But the one I love is the batch save. So instantly it grabbed all the images inside of that website. Check that out, all of them. And now I can select what I want it. So I could say, you know what? I need the logo. I need, what else do I need? I need that screenshot. I need this screenshot also and these little icons right there, all right? And then I can import them. Now I'm not gonna import it now because I don't actually need, need them, but you get the idea that you could go to a site, grab all of these and import them right into your Eagle app like that. So it's a lot of, lot of options. Now, other things you could do is, for example, click on this, hit spacebar. I can oh, I can do a preview of it just by hitting spacebar. Um, if I were doing a, whoops, vertical scroll. If I wanted to view a GIF, for example, I can drag in here GIFs and I can actually preview a GIF right here. So basically, all your media images that have to do with images are going to be inside of this file manager without having to go into your traditional file manager, going in, into each folder, or separate a bunch of folders like you would before, which takes a lot of time. And like I said before, if you don't like investing, then yeah, go ahead, do it the tra traditional way. You can go into folder and separate everything and, and just waste time every single time that you're looking for a file or have everything stored really neatly and really fast right here with the things that you actually need with tags, with searches, with colors, with everything. Just alone, the color feature is what I really love about it. but. It has a bunch of features that you should really check out. 
Um, I will leave the link in the description. You guys want to check this out because it's, you're going to view everything that you can do with it. Drag and drop, clipboard, um, tags, folders, smart folders. I mean, there's just so much to talk about. Plus, there's the roadmap available right here if you guys want to see what's coming later on. So right now, what you're viewing is version 2.0, which just came out this January. And these are the future plans. So these guys have been working hard. All of this has been rolled out already. And this is what's coming. So it's a hard working company that has really neat features that I think you should really consider if you want to save time and organize all your media assets in one single place. Well, guys, that is the Eagle app. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.